So in this lab, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new data file. So hopefully you have been able to open up a new SPSS um, window. And, and it, in, for mine, it defaults to data view, but yours might go to variable view. So if you have it open and it's got on data view, let's go ahead and click over to variable view so we can start defining our variables. And for this um, lab, we're going to talk about like quizzes. So we're just going to have like four participants and three variables. And the variables are what they scored on these like little pop-up quizzes or pop quizzes, right? Okay, so we're going to have quiz number one is going to be like Q1, right? And then um, Q2 is going to be the second quiz. And then Q3 is going to be the, um, the third quiz. And so now we have um, our variables. Let's go over and enter in our data. And again, um, variables are columns and participants are rows. So for the first quiz, our first participant scored a three. And our second participant scored a four. And our third participant scored a two. And our fourth participant scored a one. So that's what the, so we only had a, maybe a small sampling that we took out of our class for the pop quizzes. And that was their quiz. Um, scores for the first quiz. Now the second quiz was a little bit different. The first um, participant scored a three again, and then a two, a two, and a three. And on the final quiz that we gave, this little pop quiz series that we were doing, um, the first participant did a little better. He scored a four, and then um, a three, a three, and then this person dipped down um, back to a one. So now we have not only defined our variables, but we also have entered in um, data for our, for our, our students, our participants here. And again, the variables represent the number of points each participant received on those three um, different quizzes or you know, questionnaires that we gave them. And after we've entered in the data, now um, you can either save it or you can just um, keep going, right? It's just a little bit of data if you want to enter it again, that's fine. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to calculate the total score for each subject. And I know that we could do it manually because we only have like four, four participants, um, but you know, it, it, later on we're going to have lots of numbers, so um, I'll show you how to do it this way. So you go up to Transform, right, so up here, and then you're going to click on Compute Variable. Okay, so we have our target variable is kind of clicking there. You can see it, so right below the little um, green and red dots, green, white, and red dots. Okay, so under um, Target Variable, we're going to, this is our new dialog box, right, we're going to type in total because we want to know the total scores for the students um, that took this little quiz. Okay, and then you'll see like a little equal sign because it's going to ask us to find well, what, what total do you want? Well, we want you to add up all the um, totals from their quiz number one and their quiz number two and their quiz number three. So just typing in that numeric expression um, window, the equation that I want um, SPSS um, to run for me. and. And you can have them, you can have, it's possible for SPSS to create any equation um, in that little box by just using the number and operational keypad at the bottom. So if you see here, you have this operational keypad. Um, so you can get crazier if you want to with your equations. Um, okay, so we're gonna press uh, OK, right? And it should have a new output window pop up for you. Just kind of scroll through it, say, yeah, I want to compute a total for this is one, two, and three. It looks fine for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close it. I don't necessarily need to save this one. You can if you want to. Okay. So I have here um, my a new column, if you will, a total, right? So I know that my first participant um, out of the three quizzes had a total score of 10. Um, the second participant, if you add up all their quizzes, um, earned nine points and seven points and five points, right? Okay, so SPSS, SPSS can create a new variable based on um, data from another variable, right? So say we're going to try to split our groups into, our participants into different groups, right, based on their total. So we want to kind of put them in two different groups. We're going to say, okay, if you scored um, high, then you don't have to go to tutoring, but if you scored low, then you have to go to tutoring. And so we're going to say, okay, um, whatever kind of group you fall in based on your total scores off these quizzes is going to determine if you're in group one or in group two, you have to go to tutoring or no tutoring. Okay, so the way I want to do this is I want to see, okay, go back up to transform, right, because I'm kind of transforming the data that I have, and then go down to recode into different variables, right, because I want to sort them, think like Harry Potter and the sorting hat, right, I want to sort them into, uh, based on different variables. 
okay? And the variable I'm looking for is total. So I'm gonna click total, and use my little arrow button, and it goes over there. And it's asking, okay, oops, sorry, that was quiz number one. So I want total, um, go over there. And it's asking me like, well, what do you want the total to be defined by? And I say, I want it to be defined by, well, what group I'm gonna put them in, right? Group one or um, into group two. And then I click uh, change, and you should see now total, um, the computer knows, okay, I want you to have a little subgroup or you know, separate them by this variable total, and I want that new group to be called um, group, right? So now I'm going to click on old and new values because I have to define the values or what I want to consider like the cutoff range is what, what is a high score and what is a low score, right? So I'm going to click on old and new variables, and the highest variable I want for my, my top group, right, is anything above nine. So I click on um, range value through highest field, and um, I'm going to enter in nine, okay? And I want that to be my group number two. So over here on the right-hand side, I'm going to go value of two, and I'm going to click add, all right? And if my other one, I'm going to go the lowest range of one, right? Because nobody had more than one, <laughs> and that's going to be, um, oh, sorry, no, sorry, so eight, right? Because there was nine, and then um, I'm going to put one in my value field, and then add. Okay, so anybody who has a score between like zero and eight is going to be in our group number one, so they're going to need tutoring. And anybody who scored above a nine is going to be sorted into our group number two, and so they can be exempt from tutoring because they scored high enough on their quizzes. Um, they maybe don't need need tutoring. Right? And then I I press continue, and I should um, yeah okay. And I should get the little output window, and it's going to say, okay, just this is what we want to do, right? We're going to recode it um, based on the totals, nine all the way up to the highest. It's going to be group two, and then the lowest um, scores all the way up to eight is going to be into group one. Is that right? And you say yes. Okay, and you can either save it or close it. Um, and so you should have now groups here, right? And so what you can do is you can see, okay, my participant number one, participant number two, they scored pretty high, so they're not going to need tutoring. Um, they're going to be in group number two and then group one, right? This is a way to kind of protecting anonymity and um, coding your participants. And again, you can base this on anything depending on what your variable is. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's what I want you to do. So in, oh, in addition, I want you to add another one, right? So um, add in some dummy data for yourself and then um, see what group number you, you sort into. So um, take a screenshot of that, that updated um, file.